Hello guys, I am Sudarshan, I am third year MBBS student and in this video we are going to discuss about the anti-leprotic drugs or uh, the treatment of multibacillary leprosy or MBL. So there are two types of leprosy basically, multibacillary leprosy and posibacillary leprosy. In this particular video we are going to discuss about the multibacillary leprosy treatment and features. So first of all features of multibacillary leprosy. The patient has large bacillary load and it is infectious in nature. It includes the LL, BL and BB types of leprosy classification. There are five types of uh, leprosy in the classification of leprosy. Lepromatous polar, BL, BB, BT and TT. TT means tuberculous polar. Next point is uh, it has uh, greater than or equal to six skin lesions are present and all smear positive cases. In this, greater than one nerve is involved irrespective of the, of the number of skin lesions. It is encouraged by the very low relapse rates with 2 years FDT 24. Treatment with FDT 24 for 24 months, 2 years. Next is uh, the WHO Experts Committee on Leprosy recommended shortening of the MDT for 12 months. MDT months means multi-drug treatment. They, are, they have shortened this time period of 2 years into the 12 months or 1 year. Okay, So currently used MDT or multi-drug treatment is FDT12 for multibacillary leprosy is as follows. First of all, rifampicin, clopazimine, dapsone and clopazimine. So rifampicin 600 mg once monthly it is supervised uh, dose in the practitioner or any medical practitioner next is clofazimine 50 mg daily self administered dose next is dapsone 100 mg daily it is also a self administered dose and next is clofazimine uh, 300 mg once monthly it is supervised dose next is duration of the treatment uh, the leprosy treatment is so for one year Later, the patient should follow up for 3 to 5 years of pre period. In the child, the doses are little different. So, the child doses rifampicin 10 mg per kg once monthly, clofazimine 1 mg per kg daily plus 6 mg per kg once monthly, and dapsone 2 mg per kg daily doses given in the child. There are three important notes in, the, in this leprosy. First of all, the note one, relapse of the leprosy, relapse period of the leprosy is 12 months for uh, multibacillary leprosy and 6 months for posibacillary leprosy. So as soon as we confirm that there is a relapse, we start the same MDT or multidrug treatment. It started in this case. Next is leprosy and TB infection, tuberculosis co-infection. Okay? In this case, the multidrug treatment for leprosy is continued but the rifampicin is given daily for the TB. Earlier we only give rifampicin once monthly but in this case TB co-infection we need to give rifampicin daily for TB. Next note 3 is leprosy in the HIV patient. There is no association of leprosy with the HIV has been found. The multidrug treatment for leprosy can be given safely in the HIV positive patient. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.